Hey guys. Okay, just uh, come back from the snowmobile mechanic, and um, I think you remember. Like you know, my Polaris is down. It's over at the shop. Now this here is that Tundra 2 that I picked up, 1993. What this video is for is if anybody has a 1993, and I'm not sure if it's a 92 or 94, but there's two years in a row that they were made with the same electrical systems, and only two years. And you absolutely cannot get the parts for them. So if anybody knows of anybody or has one, an old wrecked one laying around, get a hold of me. And uh, on here, and we will see if we can uh, make some kind of a deal here. I'll show you now. I mean, my guy was able to get a hold of the coil CD box, and I brought it back yesterday and was heading out in the bush this morning. So I thought, you know what, I am just going to pu pull this off the trailer and take it for a ride around my yard here so I got about halfway out there and it started backfiring and I thought well maybe because it was in his shop the whole time that it just you know got some condensation in there and froze up a little bit but it wasn't acting like it was frozen up anyways I got it back here to get some gasoline antifreeze in it and she stopped right here beside the truck and I have absolutely no spark again now he says there is another coil down in the flywheel or some kind of electrical thing. I am not a mechanic by any means. So and he says that could possibly you know have something to do with it. And but when I was having my trouble, he tried to find that part and there's not one available anywhere in Canada that he can uh, come up with so anyways this machine is in such good shape other than the fact that it doesn't run and I would just hate to have to scrap it just to, because of a little electrical kit so if anybody out there knows of anybody's got a right it's either 92 93 or 93 94 but this one to 93 so Tundra 2 that's they want to scrap out or something Tell them to give me a call because they only had two years where they did this electrical system and the parts are non existent anymore. So, all right, catch you later. Yeah, so now, guys, I am back to my old 1980s Scandic, my mode of transportation. You know, I love these old machines. I don't know if it reminds me when I was young or whatever, but I'll tell you, the amount of trouble I've had keeping a machine running this year, you know, that idler wheel was no big deal. But then I couldn't get the machine going after. And I brought it in, and what ended up happening, I think because it was parked a little bit on a downgrade when I... Uh, parked it after I blew that idler wheel off and I the one of the needles or valves in the carburetor must have stuck a little bit open because it completely filled the bottom of the crankcase full of gas we, when we pulled the, the drain line off the bottom of it and there was we rolled it over and it was actually shooting gas eight feet out the back out of that valve so no wonder I guess that's what you call flooded, or really flooded, or something like that. But anywho, so that's uh, my valiant steed for tomorrow. I'll get out there and get them traps checked again. And uh, what it looks like, I think on the during the summer, I'm just going to be buying a, a new machine, so I'm. Taking suggestions right now, I'm leaning towards the 
Scandic four stroke, the no, Scandic, the uh, yeah, the big Scandic, the 600 or the 900. I'm not sure if anybody's got the 900, but that's a little bit more power than I need. But uh, if anybody knows anything about them, let me know. All right, catch you later.